Hi, I'm Sand Garden Dick, and I'm going to show you how here at the Sand Garden we celebrate our wastewater. All of this demonstration is, is an effort to clean water in a natural way by simulating the natural features in a watershed that would normally clean water. So as we take you on a tour, you'll see our wetlands and our upper stream and our main pond and our growing beds and our reservoir and finally our yoga pond. I hope you enjoy this trip and if you uh, really resonate with what we're trying to do here, uh, email me. There'll be an email at the end of the little show. Uh, let me know you're interested and I'll direct you to a emerging website. We start our tour in the wetlands, the highest point in the cycle. They can be seen just above Linda's wonderful herb garden. The wetlands offer a real diversity of natural grasses that we collected locally. They include cattail, uh, bamboo, and arundo, which has been a major construction material for us. The wetlands drain into the upper stream which contains simulated features to agitate the water like a real stream. It's also home to watercress and a lot of mint later in the summer. It then dives down underground under the picnic area and heads for the pond. The main pond is home to goldfish uh, and mosquito fish and snails and frogs and it also yields a wonderful diversity of plants we brought in from local marshes. It drains uh, some 50 feet or so into the garden area. The garden beds are a series of shallow basins that allow one to divert gray water either into the beds or around them. And they can go from one bed to another, or skip uh, all of them, and eventually end up in the reservoir. The reservoir is the lowest point in the system. It serves as a settlement pond and as a filtration system with its lush vegetation of water hyacinths and duckweed. It's aerated by the yoga pond that lies just above it. The yoga pond is a place to meditate and to soak one's feet. Why don't you take a moment and just do that. and back to the reservoir. The dollar cost of the system is a whole, perhaps a couple of hundred dollars. It depends on how much used pipe and valves you're able to get. That's where the most cost. Got a couple of bags of cement. The uh, cost in terms of labor, uh, because it's entirely a labor of love. It's just a really good deal. Uh, and it's a real good demonstration of the general program of which this slideshow is a part. It's one in which we want to demonstrate uh, our $15,000 home that can heat and cool itself, generates uh, its own food, processes its own waste, and provides a lot of love. So check out uh, the website that's on the screen. Thanks for watching.